This is a man's world This is a man's world But it would have been nothing Nothing Without a woman or a girl Ovik, your characteristic voice has an undertone of a youthful huskiness, setting you apart from the rest of the mainstream Greek singers today. How would you describe the music that you typically create? I grew up listening to Armenian music, I grew up listening to Greek music, then while I was a teenager I fell in love with Western music, pop. I love pop, I mean pop, for me pop is the greatest music of all time. But jazz, blues, reggae, all this stuff, so I have all these uh, elements inside me. As I grow older, I feel uh, that the music that I would like to create and that draws me more is pop with some ethnic elements in it. About the voice, I believe when you have a talent, you're a blessed person, so I do feel very blessed and that helps me a lot with my everyday life because when you feel blessed, you have this positiveness inside you. And I am lucky enough to be able to serve different styles of music. <laughs> I listen to Armenian music, I love it. This year we're going to have a very big concert in November with uh, some uh, musicians that they're going to come over from Armenia. I've performed in Armenia and Lebanon where there are huge Armenian communities. This October most probably I will go to Canada to perform to the Armenian community there. Also, um, we're discussing for Romania this year with the Armenian community. They support me, they love me, I love them, and uh, it's great. And there's this weird thing happening with me. When I'm with Cypriots or with Greeks, I feel a bit more Armenian. But when I'm with Armenians, I feel a bit more Cypriot. <laughs> Having two different cultures inside you makes you so rich. What has been the most defining moment in your career so far? I have to say the X Factor because that's where it all started for me. Of course I've been singing uh, in the tavernes and in these kind of places since I'm 15. My father used to take me with, you know, and the next day I would go to school. So I'm so lucky I've been doing this for so many years now. But going to the X Factor was that that moment that I felt that I really do have something to give in music and and I liked it because X Factor for me was the best party of my life. And one day you get popular, people know you, you're young, you're 19 years old, the drives are different, you know what I mean? It's great. Let me be your heart and your company. I let you be the one who can lead on me. I catch you when you go. Everything I've done in my life, I feel that it was great experiences, X Factor also before that. But Eurovision is something different. Eurovision is something that I wish and I really hope from deep down that all Cypriot artists, they get the chance to do Eurovision once. For me, Eurovision, it's 70% the artist, 20% the song, and then it's another 10% the stage performance. That's what it is for me, Eurovision. Ya no estás más a mi lado, corazón Que en el alma solo tengo soledad Y si ya no puedo verte Porque Dios me hizo quererte Para hacerme sufrir más I'm a person that I, I like having the upper hand in everything That's so tiring for me and my co-workers, my musicians but there are so many artists I would like to work with, even in Greece. I mean, 
Ramos, Ana Vichy, Fureira, of course, Argiros. I had we did a concert with Argiros. I've done some concerts with uh, with other Greek singers, but there are so many more I still want to do. It's a very difficult job, but the blessings that you get out of this job, it's amazing. When you create this energy while you're on stage with people there, it's amazing. I can't even explain it in words. That's the only reason why I'm still doing it, Paul. People have so many things going on in their, in their head, and when they, when they um, come and respect you and pay a ticket for you or, you know, to be entertained and to have a good time and they do get that, that's amazing for me.